This poem is number 62 in my folklore series. It's called The Grey Lady of Ertnall. It tells the story uh, from the Middle Ages, 1464 to be exact, when Henry VI was fleeing south in Cumbria, uh, sought to stay at Ertnall where he was rebuffed by the master and eventually went to Moncaster Castle where he left them the famous look of Moncaster. I hope you like it. It's called The Grey Lady of Erdnall. The year was 1464. Henry VI had lost the war. Fleeing south where to call, sought assistance at Erdnall. John Erdnall, the incumbent master, saw the call as a disaster. A Yorkist he, no friend of Henry, Refused his call, denied him entry. The king, tired and hungry, set up a comp set up a camp beneath the tree, to pass the night and rest a while, before moving on to friendlier climes. Anne, the lady of the house, usually quiet as a mouse, feeling sorry for the deposed king, decided food and drink she would bring. To the party camping neath the tree informing them where help would be, at Munchester Castle nearby on the coast, where to their luck the king would toast. Leaving the vessel to seal his gratitude, which to this day is understood, keeps them safe and holds their luck, symbol of the steps they took. Whilst the dirt and the master enraged, sealed his lady, kept her caged, and because it was within his power, starved her to death in the tower. This evil act left its mark, the lady is oft seen in the park. She walks the battlements of the tower, the temperatures will often lower. Where staff can sense a mournful essence, and noises indicate her presence. The chill that permeates the room, fills the air with a sense of doom. So I read a go and say hello to Anne and let her know that you sympathise, though it's uncertain if it's the ghost of Anne or evil John Erton. Thank you.